welcome back to the Grow Farm. If you're new, welcome. Please subscribe. And thank you for guys for commenting and liking up on this video. Now to get started, this is an experiment update that we started about seven days ago. You can click this link right here. I'll take you right to the first part where we actually started the experiment. In this video, I'm just basically trying to figure out the most efficient way for you guys to germinate your seedlings and actually have a nice plant to grow and hopefully in the future give you some produce. So without further ado, let's go on and check out our seedlings in the back here and see how they're doing. Alright guys, so here we are at the testing table. We have the Tequila Sunrise, the Cascabella, Fort Knox, Jalapeno, and Tangerine Dream Peppers here. All as seedlings over on this side. And then here we have their rows and wherever they're going to be accordingly right here on this side. Um, as for this side, after a couple of days I noticed that there is a couple of root development going on as you can see right there. And I would not put a guy um, in the soil that has a shorter root than that. As you can see his root is about right there. Um, and he has really good root development. He, he, as you can see, it's like a straw and he's just drinking up all the water. Um, but he's going to go in the soil. And as for this guy, he needs to go in the soil right away. Um, his root is a lot longer. See, it's right there. If I dim out the light. Um, and it's actually turning a little bit green, so I need to get him in the soil right now. So those are two perfect examples. But after I put them in the soil... Um, which is right there wherever they're supposed to be. I'm going to cover them up with a little bit of dirt, just a little bit. I'll show you guys how. And then I'm just going to water it. All right, so without further ado, I'll show you guys the next step um, right before I open the bag. So if you're doing this with me, feel free to do it with me. So I'm just going to open this bag, and I'll come right back as soon as I open it. All right, folks, so I have the plastic bag opened here. And now all I have to do is just pull the seed out. Now... You won't, don't want to touch the root as much as you can. You might have to a little bit because the root may be trying to like, be stuck to the paper towel because it's actually trying to get a whole bunch of water from it. But you just want to try and grab the seed. Sorry if I, the camera shakes a little bit. It's kind of hard with one hand. But you just want to sh grab the seed and just pull them right out of there. All right, so as you can see, he's on my finger. Um, very nice seed right there. Hopefully the camera will adjust. And there you have it. And then I'm just going to take him over here. And he is from the hot pepper, jalapeno, if I can find that. I'm just going to put him right in there. Just drop him. All right. That's okay spot. All right, then after that, I'm just going to get some of this soil here. Sprinkle a little bit. It doesn't. You don't have to do a whole bunch of measurements, guys. It's not that compli complicated. It's just gardening. All right, and the wood will not affect him that much. He'll go around the wood. They they were supposed to grow outdoors. All right, you don't have to spoil your plant. I'm just gonna cover them up a little bit, guys. All right, just a little bit. Then I'm just gonna get my water, and as you can see, it's an open cap. And as I like to do, I actually like to put about two fingers over top of the lid and just drip the water on that way it doesn't go on too much and too heavy so here you guys can just like observe and I can really control the amount of water that comes out oh, sorry it's kind of hard to show alright so as you can see I can control how much water comes out of it that way you know if you spray it on you don't know how much water is going down into your plants cup I feel that just works for me if you have a way that you do it that works that works perfect but that's just how I do it that is not a seed that's actually a fertilized caps capsule get that out of the way I don't like those things all right so after that that's watered you have everything else to plant um, that guy's done, and you're ready to go. Alright guys, so here we are. It has been a day and a half, and as you can see, we got some green growth growing on here and here. I covered this guy up with a little bit more soil, but he is green as well. I just wanted him to make sure that he was hydrated and his root was covered. But overall, we're three for three here, and it's going really well for the seeds in the plastic baggies. Um, as, for, as of right now, we don't have um, as many, or as much root growth that I showed you in the past examples. Um, so I'm just going to leave them in the in the plastic bag to grow a little bit longer. 
so the race is going pretty good for these guys, good r results. Um, as we go to the other side, where we actually just put the seed in the soil directly, you can see we got a couple more pepper plants growing on the back here, and another guy going, growing right here. So they're pretty much popping up all over the place, um, not really coming up at the same time. Kind of unpredictable. Um, but overall, we're doing pretty good here. The race has begun, and you can click this link to actually when we actually started. Sorry, my finger was right there, but you can click this link right here to actually when we started this experiment. Um, I hope you guys will join me. I hope you guys do great things with your time. Happy gardening, everybody, and thank you for subscribing and commenting and liking on this video. Hope everyone has a great day. Peace.